hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you five ways to style these at 36 inch locks and these can be used on regular braids twists whatever protective style you are using but these are the styles that i plan on wearing on vacation so i'm gonna show you how i achieve these looks and we're gonna talk more in detail about these locks and their longevity so far Hey guys, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel, Putting Up With Pom Pons. I am Shantae. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys five ways that I'm going to style my 36 inch locks during vacation, okay? So we're gonna have some easy peasy ones and we're gonna have some, girl, that's you doing too much right there, right there. <laughs> I am about to go on vacation. I am about to go to Las Vegas. Me and my husband's 10 year anniversary, we will be celebrating 10 years of marriage. It is insane to say that like out loud, how long I have been together with this man. That's just marriage wise. I've known him a couple of years. I think we were together for at least two, three years before we decided to get married. He is my house high school sweetheart. Um, and it is, it's surreal. It Anyways, I got sidetracked it. So in this tutorial, I want to show you guys five ways that I will be styling my locks while I am on a vacation. And of course, you know, since I am on vacation, a vacation vlog is coming next. Like, it's just like I get it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. If you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. This is a mother daughter hair channel where we talk about hair care, give hair inspiration, as, as well as hair maintenance and routine. So we're going to start off with the first style, which is a simple tie back. And all I do is take maybe three or four locks on each side, and I just do a a simple tie like you would tie your shoes of course you can make this cuter and make it into a cute little bow but for me this works as a regular everyday hairstyle where it keeps the locks out of my face and I'm able to still get things done all right y'all so that is style number one style number two is pretty much just a jumbo braid so we're keeping this like side part that I have going on right now and this is the style I like to put it in when I know I need to do a bunch of running around. Um, I'm gonna be chasing after my kids. Now I love creating this Rapunzel braid and starting off, all I'm doing is sectioning my hair off into three sections, which is gonna pretty much create my three strands. So I like to keep one behind me and I bring two of them, one over each shoulder. And this just kind of helps me stay organized while I'm trying to braid it. And all I do is take two strands and just crisscross them over and then bring the other one that was in the middle over my shoulders and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side crisscross them over and the one that's in the middle is now gonna come over my shoulder and this just helps me keep it organized this is a lot of hair it's very long so it can be hard to try to braid this by yourself so it just takes some time but this is the simplest and easiest style ever and once you kind of get your footing uh, on the beginning of the braid the rest of it is just like downhill it's so easy Now, once I get to the end of the braid, I'm going to take the longest lock that is sticking out and I'm just going to do two slip knots on the end. I prefer doing the slip knots at the end versus using a hair tie because the slip knot just kind of like blends in with the hair. The hair is the same color, of course, and it just looks seamless. And I, yeah, love it. My favorite style. This definitely helps when I'm active with the girls and I just love how cute it looks. It's so elegant and can go with any style. Now we're going to move on to the third style. Now this one of course is a everyday frave. This is a half up, half down. And pretty much all I'm doing is taking the crown of the hair and I only left out one row of hair and that's pretty much the hair where the curls are. So it kind of looked really cute that way and I liked it. I went ahead and took out two little antennas because you know, you just can't do a half up, half down without doing some antennas in there. And I am using a leftover lock to secure it. I do not want to use any hair ties on this look because then I'll have to turn around and cover up the hair tie with a lock anyway so it's just easier to use a lock instead for the next hairstyle I'm doing two double space buns so I want to do something fun and festive because I'm going to a festival while I am on vacation and I felt like 
two space buns are like the perfect style for a festival so pretty much where we did the half up half down and took the crown of the hair i'm doing the same thing here except we're splitting it in two and then i'm going to wrap it around twice and that is it i didn't want to wrap it completely around because that would make two big jumbo balls sitting on my head and i did have to take a hair tie for this but luckily the hair tie could not be seen So remember when I said some of them were going to be over the top and dramatic? This is one. This is this is one. I ain't going to hold you to it. it. This is one of them. All right. Two big ass space ones. <laughs> so I do plan on going to a uh, festival. We plan on doing some concerts while we're out there. And I feel like with festivals and concerts, you have to kind of have fun with your look. Like just going like regular every day. Just ill, you know. Last style, we're going to we're gonna pull all this up. For this last style, it may seem like it's a lot and it definitely is. This is 36 inches that I'm trying to fit into one ponytail. So I pretty much just have to bend over and bring everything to the front. I am not using a hair tie. Again, this is a lot of hair to try to pull through a hair tie. So I'm taking an extra lock and wrapping it around and tying it that way. And all I do is a simple like knot tie, nothing extra. I did leave two antennas out because you gotta have your antennas and that's pretty much it. I I'm not a big fan of the back of my head because um I don't know I just didn't like it but that's just one of the things I don't like about the hairstyle is I just felt like I could have did better on the back but it's so hard to style the back of your head by yourself I, I actually didn't struggle as much as I thought I was going to now I thought about incorporating like head wraps and headbands into this uh, tutorial but this one I just kind of wanted to do like my everyday looks different ways that I plan on styling my locks so while I'm on vacay so I uh, thank you guys for joining us on a, another tutorial. We will see y'all on a, another one. Be blessed and be safe. All right, before I let y'all go, I did say I want to talk about my maintenance and longevity of these locks. So for bed, I have to pull everything up into a bun. So now that I have my hair all up in a high ponytail, all I do is split that ponytail in half and wrap each section at a time. And that's pretty much it. I'll take a silk wrap and wrap around my edges. I don't really worry about the locks or anything, so I don't use a bonnet. And that is my nighttime routine. So far, the longevity of these locks has not been bad. I haven't had any issues. Of course, there is some tangling, but that was to ex be expected. And I even mentioned that in the tutorial when I installed these locks. So nothing over the top or out of hand that I can't manage. And so far, I've been enjoying them. Don't forget to come back next weekend for my Las Vegas vlog. And don't forget to like this video and share it to all of your social media platforms. We appreciate having y'all. Be blessed and be safe. Okay.